Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, so we're just outside of the CSEC Academy. I have a couple, um, I guess, assignments to turn in. Uh, so let's see, the first one is uh, this one here, Jalid's Secret. So this Jalid guy was talking with the guy who made me scan all of the keepers and I have to talk to him. So he's in CSEC Academy. And then, um, let's see. I picked up a shipment for a guy named Chalik and I have to return it to him. And this is to kind of help Rita's sister or whatever. Anyways, he's also in CSEC Academy. So we're gonna be turning those in. Um, oh, what is this? Board of the freighter. Uh, -uh. Speak with the ambassador. Where's the freighter? Oh, right. Okay, those are ships I have to go to. Sorry. Okay, anyways. Well, let's just go inside this place. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. All right. Let's see. Up here, there's no one. I don't know where all of the people are. Let's go down this way, maybe first. Where does this go? The wards. No, we don't want to go to the wards. Okay. Maybe let's go up here. <laughs> there, yeah, they're all on the second floor, it looks like. Um, let's see, let's see. In here, maybe? Can I interact with any of this? No. Oh, over here. Here's someone. Oh, this is Jaleed. Found him. Hello. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Of course. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't Liar. mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Trying to manipulate me. It's okay. No, you tried to manipulate me into killing someone. Relax, I'm helping it out, I I'm guess. scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Are we good then? You managed to patch things up between Jalid and Shorbin, and they've agreed to continue working together. All right, now let's do Rita's sister and Chelik. What if there's anyone? Who is this? CSEC officer. Hello, Commander. All right. Oh, there's Chelik. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Of course. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Thank now you. I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. What did he give me? Um, whoa! Alright, he gave me a lot of shit. <laughs> nice. 
Did we like level up? Oh fuck yeah, we did. Okay. Ooh. Okay, definitely Spectre training. Sure. Okay. Okay. What is stasis? Creates a powerful mass effect field that immobilizes single targets. Um, okay, we don't need to do decryption for him because the other guy has it. So maybe let's work on electronics and let's work on assault rifles. Okay, there we go. Journal. Perfect, okay. So now let's do uh, expose Saren. You've proven Saren is connected with the Geth. As a reward, the council has granted you Spectre status and commissioned you to track the rogue Spectre down. The ambassador will provide you with a ship and crew and meet him at the Alliance Docking Bay, accessible through the central elevator in the CSEC Academy. All right, so let's go there. Don't think there's anyone else I need to talk to, right? Doesn't look like it. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. This was the wrong elevator. Fuck. In a further development Sorry, in the guys. prime investigation, the council has <sighs> reportedly revoked the specter status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Nice. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Forced retirement? This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. So, like, I wasn't lying. I freaking knew it. Why, uh, you had this from me. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? Yes. I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Any word on Saren? What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. 
and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'm on it. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. I don't know. Maybe I can get to Novaria before the gap. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. That's your job. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, <laughs> Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. I'm also a soldier, not a politician. Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Vatarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. Yeah, obviously that didn't happen. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then First about mistake. halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. That's extreme. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren War crime. There. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Why'd you take the blame? Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Maybe you should just, like, do you know what? Yeah, I don't think that's fair. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Like, maybe it's time to... It wasn't your fault. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Are you okay? How are you holding up? Honestly. This isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Okay, yeah, what the fuck is a Pharos? Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? Oh, the planet. The okay. entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. Okay. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. 
What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Hmm. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Goodbye. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Sounds good. All right, team, let's go. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in pro. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Yeah, it feels wrong. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. We used to do things my way. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past, no reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. As for the Conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. None of the other species has the guts, grit, or balls to deal with this. So it's up to us. We're the only ones who can stop Saren. I swear to you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. He doesn't matter anymore. The captain's <laughs> so not here. I'm in charge now, Joker, and time's wasting. Get this bird in the air. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <That was laughs> Commander, something you need? Ship status report. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Don't we know him? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't Why given to me as charity for my disease. What? What disease? What are you talking about? Are you <laughs> sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Froelich syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bone. I need to know more about this Brolix syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an <laughs> extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles, my bones Aww, were already breaking in sad. the A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? 
Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. Right. So don't worry about it. Okay. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. How do you get your nickname? Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. That's not an answer. You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Were you unhappy? Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Goodbye. I have to go. All right, see ya. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh, let's look outside. Ah, oh, that's the airlock. Okay, we don't want to do that. Let's see, is there anyone else I can chat with? Galaxy map. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. You doubt my decisions? I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were one of the first reinforcements to arrive at Elysium after the Blitz hit. <laughs> Those raiders were no match for an Alliance frigate. Of course, the only reason the colony was still standing was because of you, Commander. I can't believe you held out as long as you did. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's see if I can chat with anyone else first. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Don't talk to me like that. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? What do these do? Alright, let's see if there's anyone else to chat with. Are these my quarters now?
Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never Already worked with him this. before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What's an L2 again? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, we already discussed that. Anything to examine here? No, we're good. Okay. Okay, let's just go down into this area here and chat with people quickly and then we can navigate, I think. That's what we want to do, maybe. Yeah, let's... Oh, this guy. Looking for supplies? I have licenses for him. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Ooh. Oh my god, all this stuff is so expensive. How do you make money in this game? Oh wait, I can sell all of this. Yeah, but everything I have is like worth nothing. How do I upgrade my weapons? I don't understand how to make money in this game. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSAC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. True. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. Mm. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Sounds good to me. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Let's chat with Ashley. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... They died, you lived. That happens in this job. Ooh, that's yes, cold. Commander, I'm so really mean to her. <laughs> if I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The answer seems plain enough to me. Be more alert. Aye, aye, Commander. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. <laughs> nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Don't be an ass. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Yeah, they tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. Seems similar enough to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? Alright, I see your point. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. 
I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me. Oh, you're going off my ship. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. Well, that sounds like a you problem just then. Who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Then Nobody stop complaining. Can. Stop complaining about not having a, a cure for the genophage. If not one of your people are trying to friggin' find the cure. So long, Rex. Shepard. Only I'm allowed to be mean to people. <laughs> Alright, there's one other follower I can talk to. I don't know where she is. She down here. Ah, oh, there she is. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. I don't like the idea of aliens studying the architecture of Alliance ships. Okay, that's out of we're character. We're on the same side here. <laughs> yeah, My that was a bad thing to say. to hate the Geth than anyone, remember? But you can't blame me for being a little excited. I never dreamed I'd get a chance to travel on a ship as advanced as the Normandy. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I think I've already asked this. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. 
In mm. extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. You're democratic, so the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. I should go. See you later. Bye. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Uh... Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser. I don't actually she care. Was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. <sighs> All right. Goodbye. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Is that it? Okay, let's go somewhere. We've talked to people long enough. Okay. to stand up here to open the galaxy map. Oh wait, what's this door over here? Oh, it just leads down. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's just take a look. Let's do something like easy. Okay, let's do an assignment first. Let's do this one. Nope. Yeah, listen. While on the Citadel, you uncovered an Alliance patrol report. One of the patrols mentioned some strange activity in the Hydra system of the Argos Row Cluster. Argos Row Cluster. Let's go there. If that's a possibility. Oh my gosh. What is all of this? Citadel. Okay. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable uh, 102 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium length. Total length 44.7 kilometers. Diameter 12.8. Kilometers. Population 13.2 million, not including keepers. 
gross weight, 7.11 billion metric tons. Okay, let's zoom out. I'm confused. I don't understand. How do I know where to go? Let's zoom out more. Zoom out more. There we go, okay. This is kind of cool. Oh, oops, I went too far. I want to go to the something row cluster. Stargates for spaceships. One way stargates. Or, like, not one way stargates, but like one location stargates. Okay, anyways. Where am I trying to go? There's so many planets. What the hell? How do I know which one to go to? I don't know which one to go to. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this systematically. We'll just do. So first. Sibia is a standard Neptune gas giant in the upper cloud decks of its hydrogen helium atmosphere are tinted a dramatic blue by traces of methane. Survey. Gas deposit surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of helium-3. Okay, let's just do the next one. Can run travel. Oh my gosh. How do I land on these? Canrum is a small rocky world with a trace atmosphere of methane and krypton. Its surface is mainly composed of magnesium and silicates with deposits of carbon. Canrum was the site of the warlord Shiagur's defeat by Turian peacekeeping forces during the Krogan rebellions. While this band was not especially powerful, Shiagur was a female warlord and one of the few remaining fertile females at that. She had, through viciousness and cunning, paralyzed her unique value into a position of power. Krogan males competed for the right to join her band and lie with her. When Shiagur's death was announced, vengeful male Krogan admirers uh, near and far swore blood oaths against the participating Turian crews. In the end, several thousand of the Turian participants were killed in open combat or through assassination. To this day, many Krogan proudly proclaim that they have the blood of Shiger. Survey. Turian insignia recovered. Scans of the planet Canrum revealed dangerous levels of radiation coming from orbit. Chief Engineer Adams conducted further scans and discovered the remains of an ancient warhead marked with the Parthia colony insignia. Alright, next one in the rotation. Is this one? They are. Okay. 
There is a large gas giant with traces of chlorine and sodium in its atmosphere. It also has a significant amount of water vapor in the clouds and its upper atmosphere. There was struck by, the ash by an asteroid at least 12 kilometers in diameter with the last hundred within the last hundred years. The superheating caused by the impactor's atmospheric passage created a large bank of vicious storms along the equatorial band. Orbital period, 12.8 Earth years. Okay, I guess I can't scan that one. Next one is gonna be... Uh, this... This way. Three... So I need... Metagoss... Travel. Message coming in. Patching it through. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Warning, level 2 heat hazard. What does that mean? Metagoss is a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of potassium and heavy metals. It is a mineralogical treasure trove with concentrated heavy elements constantly being brought to the surface by volcanic activity. Metagoss is in hospital and dangerous and expeditions must be well prepared to survive any length of time with its high mass heat trapping clouds and constant volcanic venting. Metagoss seems well on its way to becoming a Venusian pressure cooker world. All right, let's land. Hopefully I didn't just like screw us over. Uh, I don't know who to take. I kind of just want to take my two guys. I don't know, who are your guys' favorite companions? Do I get to drive this around? Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Uh, map. Where am I? I don't know where I am. I'm here. Let's go here first. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah. Oh no. <gasps> oh fuck. Almost there. I think. Come on. Oh, maybe I just have to go on this low part here. Come on. 
Oh fuck. Ah. Okay. This way. I can get out? Oh shit. Recover. Recover artifact. A, Y, A. Fuck. Recover. Uh, B. Oh my god. What the fuck? Why is it so fast? Uh, what? Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Oh, I did it. Turian insignia recovered. While searching the wreckage, you found a very old letter stamped with the Gothis colony insignia. Unfortunately, the text is indecipherable. All right, let's get back in the vehicle. Okay, so then if I go back to the map. Okay, let's go here, I guess. What does Y do? Why? Oh, I can repair. Uh, does it need to be repaired? Or did I just waste something? I don't know. I not use this until it's repaired? Oh fuck. Did I just die? Let me see. I don't understand. 
understand what just happened. Do I have to redo everything I just did? No! Oh, fuck me! <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. I didn't save any of that. So I should have saved then. Okay, well, we'll go here first and just deal with that bullshit. No, get back in here. What if we just, like, get out of this? Oh, wait, no, because it's a heat hazard. Watch me die, like, 20 times trying to do this. There's the down ship. This must be the place. Be careful, Commander. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, it's a trap. I'm pressing Y, I'm pressing Y! Repair faster! too friggin' far from it. There's one more. Where are you? I see you. No, you're still alive? Yeah. Is that all of them? Let's lock that shit in right frickin' now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, where is this down to ship thing? Should I like get out and investigate it? Can I investigate it? No. Alright, let's get back in. Alright, so there's something over here. What's this over here? too far. Is it this thing? Right here. There's something here. Right here? What am I, like, looking? What is... No, I'm, like, on it. It's this thing. Oh, wait. This. What is this? Thorium deposit. Moving out. Survey. Survey. 
Fuck, it makes me do that fast. <laughs> Rare element surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of thorium. Okay, everyone back in the ship. Lead the way. Get in the vehicle. All right, let's go to the map. Actually, let's just save again. <laughs> we'll just save over that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, map. Okay, so if it has the circle over, it means it's surveyed. And then that is a point of interest that we've explored already, right? What is this? Debris. Okay. Let's just go over here quickly. on the other side of this thing. Come on. Aw, oh, shit. I can't get over there. This way. This way. You can do it. This way. This way. There it is. Found it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, there we are. Okay. Securing point. There we are. All right, let's do this again. Recover. All right. Uh, A, X, Y, B, X, did it. Okay. What do I get for that? Norse. Alright, let's get back inside. And we're going to save again. Alright, and then it looks like I have one more location to go to. Okay. Let's go to this thing. Debris. <laughs> I'm so bad at driving simulation things in general. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay, I think we just have to crest this hill thing. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Mako. Come on.
Uh, okay, let's try. Uh, A, A, X, Y, D, D. Get out. Uh, let's take all. Alright, get back in the vehicle. Are we done? Have I finished this thing? Am I even where I'm supposed to be? What is this Turian insignia, this thing? Several Turian outposts and colonies were destroyed during the unification where each colony's insignia also disappeared. Hmm. Whoa. To maintain its fleet and continue to expand, the Alliance must find new resources wherever it can. You've recently surveyed an important deposit and claimed it for the Alliance. There must be more like them in the Traverse. Okay. Hostage. Just wait. Did I finish the thing I wanted to do? I finished it, right? Was this the one? Yeah, I think this is the one. UNC distress call. The distress call from the downed midship turned out to be a trap set by the Geth. Fortunately, you were able to survive the ambush only after my second attempt. That's oh, the, uh, oh, the Argos Road Cluster. Okay. Okay, so I've done this, and I think I've, like, fully surveyed this planet. Okay, cool. So how do I... Um... Uh, just... No, get back. Right, how do I get back to the spaceship? Oh, can I level up? No. Okay. I don't understand how to get back to the spaceship. Oh, return to Normandy. Okay, so it looks like I've like fully discovered this. Like I've gone around this area and this was the only deposit really. Decoy transmitter, Turian wreckage, ma uh, the whatever that is. Okay, let's uh, clear destination and return to the Normandy. Okay. Nice, okay. Let's go here. And then there's one more planet I can survey in this system. So I'm just gonna zoom out. All right, so let's just do this one. Varmelis. Travel. All right, it looks like I can't survey it. Well, we'll just read it. Since somebody took the time to write this, we'll read it. Uh, Varmelis has a thick atmosphere of nitrogen and helium. Its surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of alumina with deposits of borax. The planet has an extensive network of subterranean caves formed over the millennia by volcanic processes. In these relatively cool areas, some primitive life has developed. Oh, that's so cool. I want to go there. I guess we can't. All right, so it looks like everywhere in this Hydra place has been scanned. What is this? Well, since we're here, let's go to Phoenix. Alright, again, let's do this systematically. Can I zoom out? Uh, okay, now I want to zoom in. Uh, travel. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll start with the outer planet and work our way in. Vebinok. Okay. Vebinok is a small terrestrial world with a thin atmosphere of Krypton and Xenon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of carbonation. 
carbonaceous material, water ice, and low-density silicates. Where but concentrated loads of light metals have been deposited by asteroid impacts, one hemisphere of Vebinok is covered by surface deposits of oxidized copper. Approximately 270 years ago, a Tyrian bulk gas transport was attacked by pirates and the Phoenix system damaged and it made a rough landing on Vebinox. Uh, the heat of the landing melted significant quantities of the surface ice and ruptured a shipping container spilled LOX across the surface. Before this evaporated and escaped Vebinox's weak gravity, it reacted to cause a widespread rust. That's cool. That's survey. Light metal survey. Scans from over have detected a deposit of cobalt. See, I hate to compare to Starfield, but like, Starfield scanning planets was like a slog, and that's one of the reasons why I stopped playing, because I just got like, bored a little bit of that, because I was doing that like in my own time, but this is fun, because there's like a little like, like description of each planet, and it's like, it's cool. And I don't have to actually like, be on the planet to fully scan it, I guess, I don't know. Okay, let's do this next one. All right, the next one here is Toontau. Ooh, we can land on this one. Let's land. Uh, Toontau is an enormous low density, density terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere of methane and helium. Despite being nearly uh, 20 astronomical units from Phoenix, the star's great heat and insulating thickness of the atmosphere make the surface surprisingly temperate. The crust is mainly composed of sodium and silicon dioxide with deposits of various light metals. While Tuntau is not habitable, the relative pleasantness of the surface conditions make it a popular location for small ships traveling through the Argos Road Cluster to land for drive discharge. Orbital period, 63.8 Earth years. Oof. Uh, let's see. Surface temperature, 21 Celsius. Okay, good. So, surface gravity, 1.1 Gs. Cool. Okay. Let's land on this thing. That means this one's not, like, a hazard to land on. We're just gonna take our normal crew here. I don't think I'm gonna switch up my squad. I'm just gonna stick with these two people. Unless there's a reason. Like, if I go to a Krogan world, I might take the Krogan person, I guess. Same with, like, if I go to, like, the other place, then I might, um, take the girl or whatever. You know who, you know who I mean. Anyways, okay, map. Alright, let's, I guess, go hidden structure. Let's go here first. Get my ass kicked. Can I loot them? I guess I can't. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the game. <laughs> before we go in, just in case I end up dying. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Just lead the way. All right. We're gonna get our asses kicked, boys. You ready? <laughs> I use 
healing down. Him? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> okay, these guys are strong. I don't know if I can do this. Let's resume. Since I just saved the game. <laughs> Fuck. There's still like five more to kill. We good so far? Oh my god, let's save the game. Oh, I can't save the game. <laughs> okay. I see you. Take that. There's just four more left. We got this. What do you mean, not now? I'll draw him out, you guys shoot. Okay, there's just two more left, I think. Go, go, go! Oh, this guy. He's gnarly looking. Okay, I'll get this guy. I'll get this guy. Deploy. 
deployed. I'll get her. Rip, die. Oh shit, we lost Garrus. Where'd she go? Just keep coming. I see you. Come on. You okay there, Garrus? Thought I lost you for a second. Where was that, like, really crazy guy? Anyways, let's go this way first. What's in here? Oh, medical kit. Uh, sure, I'll just take everything. What is this? Decryption skill is too low? What do you mean? Can we address that? Squad. We can fix that. Okay, just wait. Let's do that. Receives twice as many extra credits on selling items. Fuck. Thank you. What does that do? Nothing. Uh, I don't know what else to like. Sniper rifles unlocked. Nice. Okay, Kaden. Apparently my decryption skill is too low, so let's friggin' just go... Nope, 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 back. No! Fuck! Squad. Uh... Fuck. That's okay. Master Sabotage further increases radius. Sure, whatever. There we are. And Garrus. Let's see. First aid. And... Actually, oh, I didn't, I shouldn't have done that. Whatever. Oh, there was an undo button. I guess it's too late now. Whatever. Okay, let's just save the game again. <laughs> okay. 
Now can we... Haha, -ha, now we can do this. Okay. A, Y, A, B, Y, B, B, A. Uh, let's just take all. Open the crate. Take all. Medical kit. Open. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, is the secret I'm supposed to find like upstairs? It must be upstairs. There's nothing else to interact with down here. Caden. Yes, ma'am. You're good, Garrus. I'm here if you need me. You're good. Okay, I guess it's probably upstairs. Okay, are there any other doors down here to go in before we head upstairs? Okay, no, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's probably like upstairs through there. It looks like. See what's over here just in case there's something to interact with down here okay there isn't all right i guess we'll just go through this door at the end of the hallway watch this be like something stupid happens, like <laughs> nothing Ooh, upgrade kit okay medical kit take uh take all of that take all of that Take that. All right, A, B, B, B. Uh, we'll just take all of that. Hanging in the back of the safe in a, is a suit of armor, obviously made for a Krogan. It seems worthless, rusted, and dented from a hundred battles. The turn must have secured it for some reason. There's nothing else of value here. Okay, that's cool. We can give this to our Krogan guy, I guess. Uh, let's take all of that. Okay, now I should hopefully be able to... S I need to figure out this gun situation. I think I just need to spend some time off camera looking at all the weapons, figuring out what's good and what I can sell. Because <laughs> I'm kind of confused. I don't know, guys. What's the best like couple guns I should keep? Because right now it's just very confusing just in general guns and games are confusing because like outside of games i have zero interest in guns and know nothing about them <laughs> like right now all of my knowledge comes from like fallout 4 <laughs> so i don't know i'll have to take a look and figure out but yeah what are your guys' favorite guns or like what should i just have for guns like i don't understand is there a way i can look at my inventory equipment i don't like Recovered items. Take all. I don't. I don't understand. I. I don't know. Do not. We're just gonna like. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'll look at that later. It's too overwhelming. But I definitely need to have a solid good couple of guns. Okay. So I guess that's this area. That's exciting. Let's exit. Let's get in our car and drive to the other parts of this planet. Wait, this area is still not surveyed? I thought it was surveyed. Why is there still a little exclamation mark? En route. I'm kidding, why can't I? I don't understand why there's still a little exclamation mark. Did I miss something? Okay, we'll just do it one more time. <laughs> Maybe there's something I'm supposed to interact with. Okay, we'll start upstairs and go down. Maybe there's something I'm supposed to grab. I thought I got it all. Yeah, everything's like good in here. Well, there's this medical kit. Just wait. Did I get everything else? Okay, there was something with like the journal. Journal. Rex family armor. 
You found a Krogan armor belonging to the Erdnot clan while exploring the planet Tuntau. It appears to be very old, perhaps very valuable. Talk to Rex. Yeah, we can do that. We're doing that. We're doing that. Okay, missions. Yeah, we're working on that. Kind of. Right? We got everything? Let's just like save again. Okay. Yeah, it looks like, like if I look on the map here. Oh, wait, there's like. Are, is, are these just the stairs? I think that's just the stairs. Yeah, there's like nothing over here to go, right? Yeah, like I can't go this way. There's nothing on that side. Yeah, if I like map. Yeah, those are the stairs. There's nothing here. Okay, I guess we'll just leave. I don't understand why there's still an exclamation point. Is there something over here? No, I'm going like farther away. I guess there is an exclamation point. I'm slightly confused. Is there something I'm supposed to scan maybe? Hidden structure, Mako. No, I've definitely uh, friggin' gone in this hidden structure. Is there something around it I'm supposed to look at? Maybe I have to go above it. I mean, we can get back in this thing and see if I can get above it. Yeah, I still haven't like found it. I jump off while I die. I don't want to test that. Yeah, there's like nothing to scan up here. Is there a hidden structure? Oh, I was trying Good to new. No! Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. I was freaking trying to put the gun away. Fucking button mapping. Okay, whatever. Is there a hidden structure over here? But we're kind of close to like the edge of the map. the edge of the map. Let's just back up. There's something here. I don't know why it's like being weird like that. Let me know guys. I don't know. Okay anyways let's just open the map. Let's just go over here.
<laughs> you need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Noted. Thanks, Joker. Just trying to get to whatever the heck this thing is over here. Is this pyramid thing down here? Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. Ooh, it's so glistening. It's like salt flats. Whee! <laughs> See what this thing is first. Asari something. Asari recover. Asari capsule recover. Recover artifact. Oh my gosh. X Y A X A. Matriarch's writings discovered. You found one of Matriarch Dalinga's writings on this body. It's possible the writings came from the nearby ruins. Ooh. All right. Uh, let's just save the game again. Oops, wrong button, my bad. Okay, let's see, journal. All right, these writings, oh, there's 10 writings. Interesting, these writings belong to Matriarch Dalinga. It looks like there are many other writings to be found scattered across the galaxy. Well, I like finding things, so I will find them all. All right, let's take a look at this pyramid. This is really cool. We'll just like go around it just to see if there's anything to just scan for information. Okay, yeah, there's nothing. Let's get back in our car, and then there's just one more location to go to, so we'll go there, and then we'll head off this planet, and then I might end the game. <laughs> or no, maybe I'll finish scanning just like the star system. And then. Okay. Uh, map. Okay. Yeah, I've like fully explored this hidden structure, I don't understand. Hmm. Maybe for this one I have to like talk to Rex or something and then we go back here together? I have no idea. Anyways, let's go here. But yeah, when I get back to the Normandy, we'll talk to Rex. Mercury deposit. Oh gosh. X B A Y X. Heavy metal surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of mercury. Nice. Alright, let's get into this one. Um, what's this thing? Oh, that's probably the Alliance plane. So I'm gonna claim. Should 
I repair and check? Crashed probe salvage. Electronic skill too low. <sighs> Who can I use for electronics? Uh Kaden. Oh wait. But Garrus's electronics. What do you mean? <laughs> it's so high. <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll have to come back to this. We're, I mean, we're gonna have to come back here anyway. Um, okay, I guess, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back here. Well, let's go on the ship and we'll talk to Rex. We'll just get in here and then we'll go here. We go map and then we go return to Normandy. Okay, and then I guess we'll just talk to uh, Rex quickly. Where's Rex? We got Ashley. Oh, there's Rex. Hey, Rex. Shepard. Found something of yours. I found this armor. Does it belong to you? Let me see. Damn. This is it. Hard to believe my ancestors wore this piece of crap. But at least it's back where it belongs. Thanks, Shepard. I might be starting to like you after all. No problem. You getting soft on me, Rex. Hmm. Just because I like you doesn't mean I wouldn't kill you. I want to finish scanning the planets in this area. But if I have to go to a planet, then we'll do that next video. <laughs> and I'll have to make note to return to that place, Tan Tower, whatever it was called. All right, galaxy map, let's open. Sil Salto. Sil Salto is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. It has no remarkable features. It's interesting. Okay, the way the planets are doesn't make sense because you have like a rocky planet like Tantau after a gas giant. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Um, anyways. And what is this one? This is rocky also. A terrestrial planet. Anyways. Oh, whatever. Patashi. Um, Alright, Patashi is a sun-blasted terrestrial world whose atmosphere was blasted away millennia ago by the star Phoenix. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of iron with deposits of tin. Due to its relatively low density, Patashi is tidally locked to Phoenix. Seas of molten light metals cover much of the sunward side. Nice. Okay, let's survey. Rare element surveyed. While scanning this planet, you detected a deposit of some 
carry them. Alright, let's zoom out. Alright. Perfect. And that is this star system surveyed. So yeah, we'll have to figure out where to go later. All right, anyways guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the game here for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.